Hi, this is Jamie with Coastal Business Supplies. Today in this video, we are going to go over setting up your Sawgrass Print Manager, as well as setting up your SG400, SG800 on a Mac system. So let's get started. First, you're going to bring up your internet browser and go to sawgrassinc.com. Next, you're going to click on download software. You're going to scroll down until you see SPM for Mac and click on the link. Open when done for your download. This will take a few minutes, so just bear with us. Once the download is complete, you will choose Sawgrass Print Manager. PKG. You're going to select open. You're going to select continue, install, and enter in your username and password, and then install software. You're going to click close. You're going to want to keep. You can minimize. And now you're going to find your Sawgrass Print Manager. Once the Print Manager has been selected, you will now work on downloading the printer. First, set up new printer. Select the model that you have, the SG400 or 800. Click Install. Click OK to restart. At this point, make sure your USB is connected to your computer and the uh, printer is turned on and select OK. And follow the steps on the screen by clicking continue, continue, agree to the terms, install, type in your username and your password, and then when finished, click install software. Click close. Next, you're going to want to bring up your printers and scanners. Make sure that the SG400 is listed. Sometimes this can take a few minutes for your system to refresh. Okay, so when it's selected, it should say idle and it should be green. Click the minus. And now what we are going to do is we are going to bring up our Sawgrass Print Manager. So find your Sawgrass Print Manager. Here you will make sure your printer is selected, select your ink, make sure the printer is enabled and click save. The print manager will need to be restarted. Now what you will do is you will go and find the Sawgrass print manager again and select it so it can run. Always make sure that the print manager does run in the background. From here we are going to click on created studio. You will need to log in. Creative Studio has several different options. We are going to start creating. You can choose your substrate first under blank products. You also have creations for the creations you have saved, designs, preloaded designs from Sawgrass, elements, which are free designs from Sawgrass. We're gonna bring in a quick image here and size appropriately. You can do um, text, upload it, or Creative Studio. Um, your galleries for your images. You can also select a custom print area, or you can also upgrade to the premium service that Sawgrass Inc. does have. Okay, we are going to go back to creating. Creative Studio does have a lot of different options in terms of appearance and certain design aspects. We are just going to go to print now. First, we're going to choose our printer. You could choose your tray, either tray one or your bypass tray, or keep it in auto. Page size, we will mirror. Um, we're going to turn auto print off on this one. Uh, for material, we are going to stick with our Unisub products. For paper, we have a few different options that we sell. We have the text print R, which is similar to our image right R that you would select, or we have our Jet Cold DHS, which is our time reduction paper. For print quality, we're going to print on high quality. For color mode, you can choose photographic when using photographs. You can use vivid with added saturation compared to photographic. Graphic, added saturation compared to photographic, useful for artwork or graphics such as logos, um, grayscale, cool gray, or classic. We are today going to stick with Vivid. 
for color palette, you always want to make sure this is on color sure and not disabled for the best color output. We are going to print now and click OK that the print has been successfully queued. Your print manager can take about one minute or so to pop up, so do note that. Once the print manager has come up, you do have different substrates again that you can choose similar to what you have. Everything should have kind of transferred over from Creative Studio. So again, we're going to click text print similar to our image right, image right R. We are going to mirror our image. For layout, we are going to choose print manager performs layout. We are going to gang up our images. Again, you can space them apart. You can not center. Um, you can trim the white space or you can put bleed lines around the image. For color, we still have Vivid as selected. Again, you have the different options um, that Stargrass does have, photographic, vivid. You have your graphic. Um, we say this is for logos or lighter shades in your design. You have grayscale a different comparison when using grayscale, cool gray, and then your standard classic. And then make sure on your palette it says color sure, your color adjustments are on zero and you're gonna send a print. Thank you for watching our video tutorial. We went over setup on the Sawgrass Print Manager as well as setting up your printer and going over Creative Studio. We hope you enjoyed. See you next time.